It seems every pope has had a health issue. I mean, if you think about it, they're usually older men who might be prone to different medical issues. But as editor of Crocs, John Allen put it, it's the media that gets the fever. He joins us now. And, and look, John, when anyone hears the pope is in the hospital, there's concern. But the media really gets carried away. Why do you think the Vatican is so tight-lipped when it comes to Pope Francis? Well, it is striking, isn't it? I mean, if this were the president of the United States who had had to have surgery, uh, which is not implausible. I mean, Joe Biden is 78, Pope Francis is 84. Uh, you know, uh, the, the medical team would be holding twice daily press <laughs> conferences from a platform in front of the hospital that would be carried live uh, on every network in the country. They would stand there for 40 minutes taking detailed questions. It would all be incredibly transparent. You know, instead, the Vatican gives you these anodyne three-line daily bulletins, which boil down to the Pope is fine, uh, <laughs> and that's all you get. Uh, now, uh, in part, uh, that is because the Vatican has always contended uh, that the details of the Pope's health are a matter of his private life, and frankly, uh, they don't owe us an explanation. <laughs> but in any event, you're right. What it does is create this vacuum uh, in which, uh, you know, in the absence of hard information, uh, what media organizations often fall back on is speculation, you know. Uh, well, what if this isn't the full story? Uh, what if uh, it actually gets worse? Uh, you know, what if the Pope is incapacitated? Uh, you know, uh, what if Martians abduct the Pope uh, <laughs> and, you know, you know, suddenly he's captive of extraterrestrials? And it, it, it just sort of never ends, does it, Christine? So, right, that's what's going to happen over the next few days if we don't get any uh, updates for the media. But we've all heard, don't believe everything that you read. So, What's your advice to the faithful who want to know how the Pope is doing? We have no basis to think uh, that we are in a crisis. Uh, and then secondly, I think the, the advice would be uh, just bear in mind, there's a little bit of media literacy that is required in a situation like this. You, you have to understand the dynamic. We are not being given much hard fact to work with. We do not have access to the people we would actually like to talk to, meaning the people treating the Holy Father. Uh, and in the absence of that, uh, you know, we are going to get carried away. Now, some of it is going to be entertaining. Uh, some of it will be informational, but none of it uh, is based on anything more uh, than an elderly man having a fairly routine <laughs> surgery and a apparently responding quite well. All right, so when Pope John Paul II was in the same hospital as Pope Francis, he would deliver his Sunday Angelus from the hospital window. Do you think Pope Francis will do the same? Well, uh, Christine, on the list of things the Vatican isn't telling us, uh, <laughs> that, that is, that's in the mix. Uh, we have, of course, asked that question. Right. Uh, and uh, what we're told is that as of yet, uh, no decision has been made. You know, we keep waiting for that moment when Francis at least comes to the window of his room and gives a little way. If you right. remember that every pope who's been hospitalized at the Gemelli has done that. Mm -hmm. uh, even that uh, apparently is some kind of state secret. Uh, we, we don't know when or if uh, that is going to happen. Uh, I think it is reasonable to expect that if Francis is not discharged prior to Sunday, that is, if he's not back at the Vatican, Mm -hmm. They might try to get him back to the Vatican to do it from the normal spot. Okay. Uh, but if that proves to be impossible, uh, I would expect it would happen at the gym. All right, so we'll have to wait and see. John Allen, editor at Crocs, thanks for the updates. You're welcome. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell to get updates to all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.